Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to do a trick for you here tonight, but I'm not really sure exactly uh, which one I want to do. I'm tossing up between two. Uh, so what I've done is I've put together a group IQ test. And depending on how you respond to that, will depend on the type of trick that we're going to do. So what I need you all to do is watch closely and listen carefully and do exactly as I do. Just everyone put your hands out so your thumbs are face up for me just like this. Very good. I can see some people out there going, and you're doing that. Put your hands out! <laughs> Love you. Okay, very good. What I need you all to do, you can do this at home as well. Hands so your thumbs are face up. I want you to turn so your thumbs are facing the floor for me just like that. Turn so your thumbs are facing the floor. I've already lost a few of you. <laughs> it's going to be a fun one. All right. Uh, what I need you all to do is put your palms together so your thumbs are still face down for me just like this. Palms together so your thumbs are still face down. <laughs> you look like a seal, like this. <laughs> so your palms together. Very good. Okay, now comes the real hard part. What I need you all to do is clench your fists so your thumbs are face down for me just like that. Just clench your fists, mate, so your thumbs are face down just like that. Okay, very good. What I need you all to do on the count of three is watch closely. I want you to turn so your thumbs are face up for me just like this. Ready? One, two, three. So your thumbs are face up for me, please. <laughs> you can put your hands down, mate. If you didn't get it the first time, you're not going to get it now, okay? <laughs> We're going to do a little trick for you. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, everyone always asks me, do I cheat uh, when I play cards? Uh, and the answer is it depends on whom I'm playing. If I was playing you, ma'am, I wouldn't cheat at all. <laughs> if I was playing you, mate, I definitely would. Uh, and I'll show you why. It's pretty simple. Uh, first thing I want you to see is that all the cards are, in fact, different, okay, folks? You can see all the cards are different. No two cards are alike. Uh, it's a normal pack of cards. Uh, you can buy them in any magic shop. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Now, people always ask, do you cheat at the casino? You can't actually cheat in the casino because they shuffle the cards themselves. They give the cards what's known as a... Um, a riffle shuffle, it's the fairest way to shuffle and cut the cards. And what this does is changes uh, the whole order of the deck. So even if you were watching, you can't actually work out what's going on. And after that's happened, what they do is they'll cut the cards. And what this does is changes the whole sequence of the deck. For example, if you were to cut here at a six, for example, if you were to cut just a few cards below, you'd be at, a, uh, at eight, therefore changing the whole sequence of the deck. That's why the cards get cut. What's your name, man? Jane. Jane, just give the cards a cut for me, doll. Just give them a cut. Very good. And what this does is it will change the whole order. Give the cards a cut for me, please. Very good. Can you lean forward? Give the cards a cut, mate. Very good. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. It's a little bit of fun um, about what happened to me the other night. I was actually out, and I met up with a couple of girls. Uh, they were two redheads. I was chatting to them for I don't know about uh, one, two, three minutes. I met up with their friends. They were two brunettes. They said, what's your name? I said, it's James with a J. Don't forget that. They said, Radio James, where are you headed tonight? I said, I'm not too sure. They said, come with us to 673 King Street. I said, sounds like a plan. They said, there's a cover charge, though, uh, 25 bucks. I said, 25 bucks? They said, yep, 25 bucks. Are you with me so far? Good. At this point, my phone rang, right? So I cut in my pocket to find my phone. When I did, do you know what I said? I said, hello, James speaking. My friend said, James, where are you headed tonight? I said, I'm not too sure. I've met these girls. I'm going to some place called 700 and something King Street. The girls knew that was wrong. They said, no, no, no. It's 673 King. I said, I'm sorry, mate. I've actually got that wrong. It's 673 King. He said, I'll be there soon. Is there a cover charge? You remember how much it was, folks? That's right. He said, all I've got on me is 10. I said, don't lie. He goes, okay, I've got 40, but that's all I've got. Can you lend me some money? I said, no problem. He said, James, you're a good person. At this point, I walked inside the Princess Theatre. Nobody was trusting me, especially you. So he cut the cards and he said, let's play poker. I said, sure, what would you like? He said, a full house, two fours and three eights. I said, I'll see what I can do. I came over there and Jenny wanted four nines, which is a pretty good hand as well. I wanted you to win, mate, so I gave you the four aces with an eight. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. You went to go take all the money from the table. You thought you'd won. I said, what the hell are you doing? You said, James, you couldn't possibly beat that. I said, the only thing it does, mate, is a straight flush. That's what I've got, and that's my story. Thank you very much.